we'd like to introduce a series of videos that we put together on LED strip, something he likes to call lead tape and Osram like to call lead flex. Yeah, and we've raided the Osram catalogue to bring you a massive range of lead tape, from economy-based lead tape through to high specification lead tape, and possibly some with features you may not have seen before. But we don't stop at the lead tape, we're also looking at the driver systems and some great control systems to help you really take lead installations to a new level. What's the benefits to the electrician of mastering this LED strip? Okay, so for me, Gary, lead strip, lead tape, lead flex, whatever we're calling it throughout this series, is, is one of the best light sources out there. It's that flexibility, and we don't mean flexibility in terms of it's just bending, but the places you can use it. So if you think kitchens, okay, quite common to see under cabinet lighting in kitchens, but bathrooms, think bookcases, think outdoors so think of the patios and the other areas you can embed it into lead tapes like it's a, a light source you can smuggle into almost anything and that helps the electrician add value to a project what are we going to be looking at in this series of videos gordon okay so we're going to start with some very practical things so the things that you need to worry about to create a reliable installation and that starts with connectors so we're going to look at soldered connections and Gary's going to have an attempt at doing some of them, so watch out for that video, that's one not to miss. But also connector systems as well that are available for, for, for LED tape. We're going to look at how we manage the heat that's generated by LED tape. But everybody knows that LEDs don't get hot. Well, you might, you might think that, but obviously now we've got a huge range of LED tape from ones that are quite low powered at a few watts per meter up to ones that can be 20 or 30 watts per meter and that does generate some heat and if you don't manage that heat properly that can have an effect on both the short term and long term reliability of the installation. We'll see how a profile can help you manage the heat generated by your LED strip. Or as I call them extrusions and how they can also form part of the design process so they can help you with some other lighting situations looking at diffusing light reducing glare and how you can use them to build into the building structure furniture and other useful features i always found one of my biggest headaches was getting the correct driver for the led strip yeah so we're going to look at that in quite some detail so how you pick the right driver for your application so that means getting that power level right choosing the right voltage and also explaining what some of the baffling array of symbols mean that you'll see on top of an led driver this then leads us into dimming. Isn't that one of the biggest issues the electrician has when dealing with LED strip? It is. I mean, that can be one of the most confusing areas because there's lots of different protocols when you look at dimming. Again, that affects what drive you choose. But we'll go into that in quite some detail again, but also looking at some of those new application-based controls that are coming to the market. So what applications are we going to be looking at in this series of videos? We're going to be looking at colour changing, so using RGBW systems. And we're also going to look at um, one you probably see in down lights a lot that's quite popular is colour tuning, so moving from warm white through to cool white. We'll be looking at some useful tools such as soldering irons, thermal imaging cameras, thermocouplers, as well as a product we've unearthed for electricians by electricians which can sit nicely with the innovation corner. Yeah, and it's those electricians out there doing some fantastic work that we like to seek inspiration from. So if you've already you know, done some fantastic projects with lead tape, we want you to share that with us. We'll obviously give you a great shout out for that. Send us pictures of your last project that you've done via the usual social media channels and you'll make it onto the eFix website. To get a sneaky peek about the stuff we've already produced, click the playlist that's just appeared on the screen. If you've got any comments or any suggestions, please leave them down below.